Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, I'm back with your next episode of City Skylines Springwood. So it's been, I don't know, a little while, but you know, we're getting back into it. If you're watching these back to back, then there's no time that's passed at all. So anyway, today as you can see in the title, I want to work on our ore industry today. Uh, I did go through, I adjusted a couple of things um, off camera. And it's just because we've got some traffic piling up and everything, um, which it's clearing out now by the looks of it. So in this intake here, you know, we added this asymmetric road, um, but we were still having some backups. And the problem was that I had a bus stop that was right here that was causing traffic to back up constantly. So I just moved that uh, bus stop over here and that's kind of cleared some of the incoming traffic here. Um, I think what I want to do is I want to make this is a left turn only to there. This you can go straight through. This is a right turn only. And this can be right and straight through. No, yeah. Right, middle lane is right and straight through. That will allow some traffic that needs to turn right to stay in the center lane rather than having to move all the way over to the right lane. So that should give us a little bit more of a throughput on traffic there. And then we're kind of having the same issue over here. Well, I've already updated this. And this seems to be working out pretty well. Yeah, so that's fine. I don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. This is a very, very heavy traffic area. Oh my goodness. I was not anticipating that this much traffic would be around. But then again, I also selected, um, you know, to not have a, a despawn. So, anyway. So ore industry is what we're doing today. Um, our ore that we have is right back here. And we're not going to flatten this or anything like that. We're going to work with the terrain that we have. Uh, we already have our input pretty much ready to go right here. Um, and then we have an area back here that I'm going to use to where we have a schools out policy already on... No, wait, that's old town policy. I need a schools out policy on Dale Square here. Uh, let's see, education boost, schools out to where these people will prefer to work rather than go to school. Same with Aspen Hills policies, schools out policy. Alright, and then I'm not going to extend this highway out this way yet because, like I said, we're going to have a canal that goes right in here. So we'll kind of adjust that accordingly once we get um, this square right here unlocked. And I think we need 16,000. Yep, 16,000 for that next square. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. Looking at my road here, I'm going to go to... Here, let's go out 20 and 20. Let's do an easy 90 degree. 25 and 25. Okay. That may not be... Well, no, that's okay. We'll leave it like it is. Um, don't mind the squeaking in the background. That's just the puppy. <laughs> He's <laughs> part of the reason why things have been a little crazy lately. He uh, had an accident with the vet and broke his leg. It's, it's just, it's been a rough couple of weeks, so. Well, rough week, I should say. Gosh, it's only been a week. But he's fine. It, it wasn't anything that we did. He was at the vet. He was getting a checkup. He wiggled out of their arms, and he fell onto the floor. Ultimately broke his leg, unfortunately, so poor little guy but he's doing much much better now he's totally fine back to his old puppy self again all right so we have traffic coming in and out 
and then from here, now this is where things get a little bit wonky. Um, I'm thinking we do... I go like this. How many was that? 200? And if I come out... 15. Let's go 15. Might be too much. Yeah, that's too much. So let's just stick to 10. So we'll do a roundabout, basically, is what I want to do. So this comes out to 100. So 10, 10, 10, okay. So we have this roundabout happening here. Sorry, he's, he's getting into that chewing phase. He's 15 weeks old, so he wants to chew on things constantly. <laughs> um, Alright, so we've got this. And then I want to be able to go... I want to say... I have a road that comes out this way. Actually, it needs to be a much bigger road than that. Um, let's go three lanes. Go out 20. And 20. And we'll go right through the middle of this mountain here. Just like that. That's straight for a few... Actually, we'll just do that, and then we'll grid it the rest of the way. Like that. Like that. So there. Actually, go. If we go 12, well, 12 and 10. That works. Just a slight curve. Okay. So we have traffic going in a full roundabout way there. Let's go ahead and upgrade this back to a highway. And then, let's say. That'll be two lanes. I don't think there's going to be a lot of traffic coming across this way, but there might be. Um, upgrade this to a three-lane highway going all the way around. Put that to two. Leave this like it is. Okay. This is going to be much bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's okay. Alright. So the Sheffield Center. Um, we're going to rename that. We're going to say the Sheffield Mining Company. That works for me. Sheffield Mining Company. Okay. So when it comes to our ore industry, the main building... Let's just take a regular two-street road. the sign. 
Perfect. Alright, so that gives a small ore mine, sand storage, and ore grinding mill. So what does all that do? So that gives us ore. This will give us ore to metal. And then that's storage. Okay. Couple things before I forget. Make sure we've got water over here. So we'll go here, there, come on. There you go. Make sure this whole area is covered. Electricity. Mm, how do I want to do electricity? Let's just have electricity go from here. Across the highway. Down and over. Okay. Alright, so now. Now what we can do is we can have the ore being mined here and then over in this area is where we can have it being produced and it'll all be the same company. So this is going to be all one company over here. I'm not going to do separate companies like I've got over here, at least for right now. We do have this over here too. So we can always have, ooh. So we'll have the ore industry come over here. Take that off the river. We have some offshore drilling at some point too. But we can always have a, a bridge going across here. That will do that. Okay. Now we've got like a little Stonehenge that we're going to have to destroy. Sorry, Stonehenge. You're gone. <laughs> Someone placed that in there and it's going to have to go. Alright, so let's take an industry road. And that will come straight off of here. Into the mountain. then all we can do for right now are the small ones. So let's go ahead and do two for right now. And then storage we can place right here. Okay. And then we're going to take an industry road and go here, there, I think that's about the size that I want. How big are these things? Let's go ahead and place, let's just place a couple down for right now. We have two of those now, right? So say we want... Two. We'll just keep it one to one for right now. We'll kind of see how that goes. Now we're going to need to make sure there's electricity spread throughout here. We're going to have to go that across the mountains there. That across to there. Okay. Didn't get my water out far enough, apparently. Okay, so there's the start to our ore industry. But I'm going to need 
This needs to connect to there. And I'm okay with this kind of being around like this. With just having one um, or two way streets coming on down through here. The, if we think about like the worker barracks and stuff like that, those we can place like back here in this area near the main building. Because eventually, I think we are going to have, it will unlock at some point, right? We have worker barracks in here. Yep, we do. Okay. So here we are with our mining operation, right? So mine the ore here. We will take that and we will then transport what we have mined over here to our refineries and the or the grinding mills I should say. Now this okay. That'll be fine. And then we have a little bit of room over here for some larger stuff that we can place in too. We'll start with the small ones over here, build our way up to the larger ones that can go here in the center. Um, in this area, shouldn't need to import anything. Everything should stay local. And then we have to produce, let's see, produce 500 and have 150 workers. And we have 185 worker capacity available. And this will start to get us some traffic in through here. Now, I've already thought about what we might do in the future for this. Because this intersection could very well be very busy. Um, and we'll keep the same concept here and everything. Um, but we might change the on ramps and off ramps. Not entirely sure how I want to do that yet, but it will be something that I do in the near future. All right, let's go ahead and fill this area in with uh, residential and commercial. I think what I want to do, I kind of want to stick to the same thing that I did over here in these areas, is we'll have the residential kind of in the middle, and then obviously some commercial throughout in the back or over here um, I think having residents living along the river would be kind of nice some prime real estate there let's go residential through here keep that off of that one let's actually do residential like this. Then I'll do commercial down through here. And then we'll do a pathway. Where's my... Oops, wrong one. So we'll do a path all the way down in between these. Come on, I need you to extend. Just there you go, just a tad bit more. Come on, come on, thank you. Okay. And you have no electricity because we haven't established electricity yet through here. Should have water though. Yes, we do. Okay. It's interesting at how much commercial we're needing right now. I've I've not ever seen that I've needed this much commercial ever. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Let's go with some smaller commercial buildings down through there. That. Go with another pathway in between these just to give whoops a little separation not what i wanted to do hopefully it left the zoning do that let's have that go 
Like that. Okay. Get some pathways and stuff. You know, these sims do love to walk and use public transport as much as humanly possible. How did, um, how did this turn out? Okay, these have now cleared out, which is good. I like to see that. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. Now we should start seeing some traffic using this bridge here to go back and forth. Probably going to need to do the same thing here to where we have an asymmetric road. Uh, I just happened to look over and my dog is snoring and he is holding his little baby in his arms. <laughs> oh, I love dogs. I do. I absolutely love them. They are the best thing in the world to have. They're comforting. They're loyal. They're just great overall. Alright, let's get a little bit of education in here. Um, let's say we want to plop down a middle or elementary school here. And then I think we'll go ahead and place a high school in over here as well. Even though we have the schools out policy set up, um, I think having some higher education over here would be nice for those who actually do want to go through and use it. And then let's go ahead and get some services established. So firehouse. Um, thinking we go just right. So what if we go firehouse here? Police station. And medical. Put all of that right there together. Okay. I was going to say, I'm not going to put any more residential down until stuff fills in, but I'm going to put it in anyway. Um, around here, I think we're going to put some parks in instead of what we've got. Let's see, so we have parking lots. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's put a parking lot in behind the high school. And then let's put a dog park randomly. Dog park there. Tropical garden. Put that right behind the elementary school. A couple of parking lots by the elementary school. A couple side lots by the high school. It needs to be not necessarily a basketball court, but maybe a tennis court out here. Hmm, it's too big. Okay, let's get rid of the large parking lot then. There you go. And then we'll put a tennis court out there. So that high school will be famous for tennis. Rather than uh, baseball or football or anything like that. <clears throat> okay. So that's a nice area. How are we doing over here? Oh, we have pollution happening. Interesting. I don't like that. But okay. Industry area info. We're not making any money yet over here. That keeps 616 a week. We haven't exported anything yet. That's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Now, here's the interesting thing, too, about this city. We. Oh, God. That's bad. <laughs> That's very bad. Um, hang on. We need to get, so, fire watchtower. Let's place a couple of these down. Uh, we'll do a watchtower there. We'll do a watchtower 
here. And that's good for now. Uh, fire helicopter depot. Let's put that out here since this is kind of where it happened. Um, but also because, you know, it's a it's an orchard. It kind of makes sense for that to be out here in this area. Just to kind of protect the trees and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, it got totally burnt down. Um, so we'll do that. Let's have some uh, electricity hooked up to this. Okay. Yeah, oh boy. All right. So anyway, I totally forget what I was saying now. Um. Yeah, drew a complete blank now. That's all right. This city has actually turned out to be pretty decent, I think. Um, you know, we've got a nice suburban sprawl that's happened throughout here. Uh, decent amount of traffic. Plenty of places for people to go. And we have our industry kind of being set up here. Definitely have enough workers. Um, I think we can go ahead and expand on this already. Just to make sure, because we're going to have more workers that are going to be needed. So let's say... Let's go with um, a couple more small ones of these over here. Let's go one... Two... And then eventually we'll, we'll probably put like some larger ones over here because if I look and look at the resources here. No, that's 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 pretty spot on. Maybe maybe some a couple larger ones over here once we get them. We'll replace those. I always place like a small one there or something. That's pretty good. It's doing well. So yeah, this has it's a lot more pollution than what I thought there was going to be, but that's okay. I don't think this area is going to get that busy when it comes to traffic. I really don't. But then again, we'll just have to wait and see. Instead of doing this, I could always just do like a split off. And then have this come straight through. No, no, we're, we're going to leave it like it is. We're, just, we're going to leave it alone. Alright, so I built up this area here with people. I don't want to build too much more when it comes to people, so I'm kind of hoping that this gives us that final push into that, uh, that 16,000 that we need. And then we can get our canal put in here. I mean, it should. It really should. With everything that we've got going on. We'll just kind of let that build up, see what happens there, and then we should be getting into, we're getting close, we're getting close. So we're starting to make a profit now, we're making money, exporting the metals. We're not exporting any ore right now, but that's because, oh, I remember what I was going to say. Haha, <laughs> see, I, I, I knew it was going to happen. Um, we have a small, small demand for industry, but here's the thing. We don't have any actual industry laid down right now. Um, all of our industry is currently just this farming stuff that's happening over here and the mills and everything. Uh, we have no actual industry buildings. But a lot of that is because, as you saw probably like in the first couple of episodes, once we started putting this farming down, the industry that was over here kind of went away. Like, this, this took over, so... <laughs> Um, but I'm hoping though, now that we have some of this ore industry happening here, our regular industry that we need of stuff and goods is going to need to be produced. And if that's the case, then we might have a small section over here to where we can put some of that stuff down and have maybe some interesting on-ramps and off-ramps coming off of this section here. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see, but that's what we can plan for this area 
right into here is for actual industry buildings. Aside from that, I think that is all we have for today. So, questions, comments, concerns, you guys know what to do. Put it in the comment section down below. I do appreciate all of you guys coming back, watching the episodes, giving the likes on the videos, commenting. It is very, very much appreciated. Keep those likes coming. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.